120,000 people await an organ donation. That's right. Cora Harlan shows us the people whose lives have been saved because they received one of those donations. When she was just 17 years old, Laura Ellsworth learned through a routine sports physical that her kidneys were failing and that she would likely need a kidney transplant in the future. Unlike many others who rely on donated organs from people who die, Laura's father volunteered his kidney, bringing an end to Laura's misery as her kidney function continued to fail. I felt better. I felt cleaner. I could tell that my blood was clean of toxins that I had never even known. I never knew how good, I never knew how bad I felt until I started to feel good. Laura's a recipient and now a development coordinator at Donate Life Northwest. That's an advocacy group raising awareness of the benefits of organ donation. It's a very difficult call deciding to donate a deceased loved one's organs, but in the wake of that grief, advocates of organ donation say there's also comfort. A lot of people say that they find solace in knowing that their loved one, even you know, in their passing, was able to save people's lives, improve people's health through donation. Tonight is Donate Life Northwest Night at the Portland Trailblazers game at the Moda Center, honoring Jerome Kersey's organ donation. A warrior of the early 1990s on the Trailblazer teams, he died suddenly in 2015. Donated eye tissue of the sort left behind by Jerome Kersey is of critical importance to eye surgeons here at OHSU's Casey Eye Institute. Kersey's donation of body tissue saved the lives of eight children in a burn center in Texas, and as a result of advances in technology, a single eye donation he gave went a lot further than it used to. And it's fascinating that Mr. Kersey's single donation likely touched multiple patients and helped allow them to get these sight-saving glaucoma surgeries. Organ donation involves difficult decisions, but for people who receive those organs, and there are now about 860 of them in Oregon alone, it can be a matter of life and death. In Southwest Portland, Cor Harlan, Coin6 News. You know, I knew Jerome Kersey pretty well, and I was not aware that he was an organ donor. Doesn't surprise yeah. me that he was, mm -hmm. but it's great that so many people have benefited from what he left behind. Oh, definitely. I know, Sally, you're pretty involved with Donate Life for Life Northwest. Yeah, I am. I emcee their fundraiser mm -hmm. every year, and it's a cause near and dear to my heart. What's amazing to 